see a lot of the news around here is machines that have been out there for a while that are finally finding their niche. And maybe best of all represented at this point is the Entrum 480 program. You guys are pioneering a couple of niches and uh, seeing some action. What's happening right now with the 480 and where is it going? The 480 has been around now since early 93, 94 time frame. We upgraded in 2001 up to a 3,000 pound gross weight aircraft. Basically the company became a different company about six years ago when it was purchased and a new management team was brought in. And really what's happening with the 480B is it's being remarketed. The aircraft was a very good, stable flight platform for many private users, but we had not really targeted what it really is best for. It was designed as a trainer. It was designed for a stable, safe platform. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic wind machine, so you can actually go straight down power lines. You can do patrol work without LTE issues. We've just repackaged it into something for the police and the utility market where we believe we can have a big impact into this world. Well, judging by what I see here, it's obvious you're starting to make an impression. Absolutely. Right now, out of the 115 that we've delivered, 25 have gone to police units now, and most of those in the last three years. There, there's three things that come to mind when we put somebody into this aircraft. Number one is the space in the cockpit. Most of them have been used to a much more closed-in space mm -hmm. and not as much room, especially with equipment. This aircraft, again, was designed for a training helicopter program for the U.S. Army, and it had certain ergonomic requirements, including helmets and equipment. Therefore, you have a lot more room. You just have a lot more comfort. That's one part of it. The other thing that's really nice about this aircraft for many of these markets is Enstrom has a very unique tail rotor design. It is an unblocked tail rotor. We don't have the vertical fin going right through the, the rotor wash. Therefore, it has 100% effectivity. We have never had an LTE effect here, a lost tail rotor effectiveness. This aircraft is certified 35 knot wind any direction. And that's only because those are the winds we had to fly in at that time. So you can take this aircraft, you can fly in orbit, you don't have to worry about tail upset, and you can keep flying no matter what those winds are. Uh, Minnesota DNR is using it for flying transects, and they can fly straight up and down the transects. They don't have to crab all the way down. That's a very unique feature of this aircraft. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Thirdly, I think that people are starting to look at, especially uh, in developing countries, is the fact that we have a very configurable cabin. So you can move the seats around, do a bunch of different things for different purposes, and one of the ones that we're just doing right now is a uh, pilot with an attendant and a litter kit by LifePort. And we just sold our first one yesterday here at the show for the Dominican Republic. It's uncertified at this point, but within three to four months, we should have that litter kit all installed and ready to go in this aircraft delivered to the Dominican Republic. They're using it for first response type issues. It is not a full EMS machine, but it's a very good first response aircraft. How are you going to configure the litter? Well, the litter itself is uh, it's a, a base that fits right into our, our seat tracks. Okay. So, the, so the litter is a two-man loader, but once you have it on the base, one person can actually load it into the aircraft, and it just seats right in here. So the front seat comes out, the other seat folds up, and you have the middle seat for the EMT, and everybody, you have full access to the whole body, which is also unique in an aircraft this size. So it's, it's, it's one of those things that this aircraft has just been able to be built up and turned into something that works for many, many platforms and many, many people. For a basic mission profile in that particular area, that's about as inexpensive as it's going to get. Absolutely. You're talking about something that's two to three hundred thousand dollars less than our nearest competitor. And so in this configuration right here, with the camera, with the light, it's still less than the starting price of our competitors. So it becomes very, very uh, affordable for startup police units, for people going out of the OH-58 uh, programs because of the cost that's involved with operating those. It just becomes a very, very viable platform for new startup units or, as I said, third world countries that just don't have the funds to go and buy the bigger aircraft. Now, are these cabins easily reconfigurable? Absolutely. You can, you can go from one pilot full cargo to two pilots with a, a center seat to one pilot with four seats, all within five minute change every time. It was designed as a trainer. 
It uh, is a very stable platform. It's a very comfortable aircraft to fly. It has one of the best auto rotational characteristics in the industry. This aircraft is the only aircraft that has been had over 100 produced and has never had a fatality. It's had accidents, but never a fatality. As we all know, accidents are usually pilot induced. Can't avoid that. We have to have the pilot. But it has had people walk away from it after pretty severe accidents. It's unique. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. And you take a situation where you have an aircraft that has a proven, it's 45, you know, 4 million, over 4 million hours, flight hours, without ever having an issue. Never on that rotor head. Never had a, a serious issue with it. The, you know, the other part of this is our aircraft is on condition. You know, we have very few parts that have to be taken care of. So you're talking about maintainability, you're talking about affordability, you're talking about what I consider to be a very stable platform. Tracy, let's talk about issues above and beyond the immediate sale. One, uh, let's talk about delivery issues and let's talk about aftermarket support. We really have a unique situation. We do 95% of the manufacturing of this aircraft in our own factory. Mm -hmm. We have control of those parts. Right now, by a two-year time frame that we've actually been monitoring it, we have 94% of our AOG parts are out the next day to mm -hmm. the customer. 97, 98 actually percent of our parts are out within seven days. Basic spares, 90% of them are out the next day. That's pretty unique in the industry right now. We have the ability to put those parts out. We've even been known to sh put down the production line to get a part done that's necessary for a customer out in the field. That's the dedication that we have to product support. A lot of that comes from our director of product support, Bayer DuPont, who used to be an Enstrom uh, uh, dealer, saw some of the other issues on the other side, came in, brought his knowledge, and said, we're going to do it this way. And Jerry supports them, and that's what we do. We look after our customer. The other part of it that's pretty unique in the industry today is you can have a new uh, turbine within 120 days. You can have a new piston probably in four to five months. That's not something that you can talk about with most of the other manufacturers. Both of those are due to, again, the vision of building before they buy. Mm -hmm. Enstrom used to be, you give me an order, 12 months later I'll give you an aircraft. That's not the way we build them anymore. We're working with Rolls-Royce on their new engine platform, obviously. We have a memorandum of an understanding to try and see where that will go, see what we can do with that. If we do that, we're talking about possibly stretching the aircraft a bit and reconfiguring. So turning it into a true 2 plus 3 type aircraft. Again, on the drawing board only. This platform really just needs to be explored first, though. So when, when we talk about where are we going, we're going into the world of putting everything on that people want to have, making it as versatile as possible, and keeping it as affordable and maintenance-free uh, maintenance as possible. That, that's what we're doing. Last five years, you will look at this aircraft and you won't see grand changes on the outside. What you would see is a brand new producible product. This aircraft now can be produced. You can send a door out. It can be put on. It used to be more like a hand fit everything. We have concentrated, and, and, and Jerry Mullins, our president, has taken a concerted effort on getting this tooled up correctly, getting the aircraft producible, getting it into a high quality standard that, not that it wasn't a good aircraft before, it is just an excellent aircraft now. So we've got to grow our market first, then we move off into the future.